People who say that looks don't matter, but when they talk about their dating life, they don't pick the guy that treats them well, but isn't good looking. They go for the guy that's good looking, but doesn't have a good personality. They even give the good looking guy more chances and overlook his flaws. Even if they're not happy in that relationship, they'll stay as long as they can until they can't anymore, just because they're good looking. Personality does play a part, but looks is the first thing you see. Sometimes they won't even entertain your personality if you're not attractive. Think of looks like a resume for a job. If they don't like your resume, you won't even get to the job interview. You can have all the skills in the world and have all the qualities they're looking for, but without the resume to get you in the door, you're still stuck outside without a job. Attractiveness is looks, but also mannerism, the way you talk, the way you dress, and how you present yourself. It's not just confidence, that's a broad term. Because you can be confident, but come off as delusional or not humble. That doesn't attract girls. The confidence that most girls like, it's hard to describe, but you see it in movies. It's the type of confidence that bad boys exude. It's their mannerism, the way they talk, the way they walk, and how they present themselves. The way they carry themselves, it commands respect. So it's not just any type of confidence. There's a certain type that most women like. Then there's confidence that everybody has. It has to come off natural and not look like bad acting. Looks is what gets you in the door. Personality is what keeps you there. But sometimes the person looks good enough and fits your criteria so much and is your ideal type in terms of physical appearance. Their bad personality can be overlooked and you'll give them many chances that an average person wouldn't get. Someone who wasn't your type wouldn't have lasted that long if they acted the way they did. But looks isn't everything. Because sometimes, someone can have such a good personality, they grow on you, and you start to feel more attracted to them the more you get to know them. But most men don't have that type of personality. The personality that's required to break that barrier takes a lot of time to cultivate. You can grow better or build character. Building character is what makes others gravitate towards you. Even if you don't have the best resume, it doesn't mean you can't get a job. It's just much harder and takes more time. And you'll face a lot of rejections before you finally catch a break and find a job that likes you. If you can hold a conversation and talk to enough women every day and still can't find a girlfriend, it's your looks. But it can also be your standards. There's average guys that are with beautiful women. But the question is, are you capable enough to pull that. Usually your personality has to be so good that you always make her smile and she always wants to be around you. But most men don't have that good of a personality. Usually it's just average or below average. Looks influence how others perceive your behavior. If you're good looking, you get more chances and you get away with behavior that an average looking guy wouldn't. Think about pets. They're treated well because they're cute and other animals like cows become cheeseburgers. Life is not fair, but that's something you have to get comfortable with. It's better to be a human than a cow. It's better to be a human than a lobster. People have bias towards attractive people. Just think about your celebrity crushes and even pets. People treat their pets good because they're cute. Some pets live better lives than humans. You know what doesn't make sense? Is when men are picky with looks and have high standards, but blame women for being picky and having high standards. I mean, when you walk outside and you see couples, are all the men who have girlfriends super attractive? You probably just think, their average. Most of the time, men exaggerate how good looking they have to be to attract a girlfriend. Because if you go outside, you'll see a lot of average looking men with girlfriends. But we pick and choose what fits our narrative and ignore what counters our argument. It's just something we humans do and everything we argue about or disagree with. But I will say it is harder for the average guy to find a girlfriend, especially nowadays compared to back in the day. But it was never easy for the average guy. The best you can do is work on yourself, become the best version of yourself, take care of yourself. There's things you can do to improve how you look. Think about when you go to a job interview, you wear a nice suit, you look better, so you can improve the way you dress and how you present yourself. You can be more confident and you can choose to build character instead of becoming bitter. You can focus on a positive thing instead of focusing on a negative thing.
There's a lot of things we can't control in our life, but you can't focus on that. You have to focus on the things that you can control and the things that you can improve on. Don't think about what you can't do. Think about what you can do to improve your situation because you know who you are today. It's not the best version of you that you can possibly be. And you know you want to see the best version of you in your lifetime. You want to know how good you can actually be, but only you can control that. No one can force you to do anything in this world. You have to want to become better. You have to want to be better. But to do that, you have to believe in yourself. Stop focusing on the bad things and look at the good things in life. That's going to give you the motivation to get to where you want to be.